please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. It's a beautiful Monday morning, and we have a great show for you today. That's right. First off, we have a story on a student named Aiden about his passion for motorcycles, and then we have ASB and Speech and Debate live in the studio. Following up on that, we're going to have Bree live via Deshera at the Monroe Street Pool, and then Ray Gruskin on the Magic Window to talk about some recent volcano eruptions. Sounds like a great show. Let's get it started. I'm Danica Witt. And I'm Ina Pashakovich, and CHS TV starts right now. Welcome back, Lancers. To start off the show, we're going to have a story on Aiden Mooney and an interesting passion he has for motorcycles. Robbie Rains and Drew Evanson bring us this piece. I got so cheap and got it running, started riding around. Over the summer, Aiden Mooney picked up a bike that's become special to him. I wanted to get a bike that would tell a story. That bike tells a story. Aiden's experiences with an old bike haven't always been easy. The fuel's just dripping so much that it was about to catch on fire, so I was like, you know what, scoot, you know what, don't do that, I'm going to go back home. Despite the difficulties, Aiden still chooses to ride and maintain an old motorcycle. Well, a new bike, man, everything's just given to you, you know what I mean? You don't have to do anything, but an old bike, it takes time and effort to get an old bike restored. And Aiden's aware of the dangers of riding his bike, but he still continues. Riding a motorcycle is really dangerous, and that bike's not the best bike to do, like, to ride. For Aiden, all the work he's put into his bike has paid off. Reporting for CHS TV with photojournalist Robbie Rains, I'm Drew Evanson. Thank you, Drew and Robbie, for that piece. Chess Club meets every Tuesday at lunch in room 2008. Come check out this new club if you're interested. GSA meets every Tuesday at lunch in the photography room 6101. Join us in a safe space and make new friends. Now for our first break in the announcements, we have Libby Lewis live with some members of the Speech and Debate to recap their co weekend competition. Liv Libby? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Libby Lewis here with Speech and Debate, who just had an event this weekend. Will, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so this weekend we had the 1C tournament, which was our first speech tournament of the year, and the first speech tournament we've been able to have in person for like a year and a half, so it was a lot of fun. Cool. And then, Nate, how did you guys do in the tournament? Yeah, so Carlos Baden really showed up strong. Um, we won a lot of our events, and we were able to, you know, have that refreshing experience of being back, so that was really nice. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And then, Zoe, did you guys have any um, more events or tournaments coming up? Um, yeah, so all through October and November, we have um, tournament 2A through C. Um, a and B tournaments are debate tournaments, and C tournament is the speech tournament, which is 1C that just passed, so 2C will basically be like that. Very cool. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Um, congratulations this past weekend, and then good luck going forward. And I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Livy, and congratulations to Speech and Debate. If you signed up for the CUSD Virtual College and Career Fair, the first raffle will take place this Friday. Be sure to tune in if you entered. Speaking of college, the Counseling Department is hosting virtual college visits on Tuesday through Friday for the next few weeks. See who will be presenting and sign up on Naviance. Now we have Parker Tompkinson standing by with Mia and Alex from ASB to talk about the upcoming pink game and how to get involved with the breast cancer awareness donations. Parker, what do you have for us? Thank you, Danica. I'm here with Mia and Alex from ASB. So, Mia, what are these new pink shirts for? Yeah, so these pink shirts are for breast cancer awareness. We're actually raising money for breast cancer awareness. So you can just find um, boxes in the lunch and during lunch in the ASB room, the finance office, and the admin building. So make sure you go donate. All right, thank you. And Alex, where can we pick up these shirts from? You can pick them up in the finance office, and they're selling out really fast, so get them while they're hot. All right, and lastly, Mia, how much are these shirts selling for? These are going to be $15, and make sure you go get these shirts right now. All right, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll send it back to the desk. 
Thank you, Parker and ASB and Carlsbad. Be sure to get involved for this great cause. AP test registration is now open. Please visit the AP test registration site on the CHS homepage under the Counseling Department tab to sign up. Registration will close on October 15th. Overwhelmed with the college application process, CHS PTSA is pleased to invite all interested students and parents to join a live virtual webinar led by Scott Schimmel of U School. This seminar will take place tomorrow, October 12th at 7 p.m. Now we have reporter Reese Steckety at the Monroe Street Pool live via DeGero Satellite Technology to talk about the upcoming water polo game. Bree? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Bree, and I'm here at the Monroe Street Pool where Carlsbad's water polo team will be playing tomorrow at 4 p.m. against El Camino High School. El Camino has a record of three wins and seven losses compared to Carlsbad's 9-11 and 11 record. Carlsbad has also won five out of their last seven games, including their last two. So make sure to go support our boys water polo team. And with that, I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Bree, and be sure to go and support the water polo team. CUSD families are invited to Financial Aid Night on October 21st from 6 to 7 p.m. Learn about the FAFSA application process and see the link for more information in the CHS newsletter. To close out the show, we have Ray Skruskin on the magic window giving us more information on an ongoing volcano explosion. Race. That's right, Carlsbad. Located off the northwest coast of Africa are the Canary Islands, owned by Spain. Now, specifically, this one right here is called the Palma, and they've been having some volcanic activity over the past few weeks. Now, on, it started off on September 19th when the volcano exploded, and it's been going off up until today, actually. It's planned to go up to another 60 more days, which can really be drastic for uh, the island itself. It's launched 2.8 billion uh, feet of rock into the city and it's created a river of lava into the ocean that's about 74 acres uh, 74 acres now these these eruptions and lava have caused tons of damage for the people on La Palma with 6,000 being forced to evacuate and a thousand homes being destroyed the Prime Minister of Spain has allocated 238 million dollars to rebuilding crucial infrastructure which should help the recovery process Lastly, La Palma depends heavily on tourism, and because of this volcanic eruption and uh, COVID-19, that's taken a severe hit to their economy. The Prime Minister and the Chief of Tourism both encouraged people to visit and to, to travel to La Palma despite the eruptions. Only 10% of the island was affected, and it's still safe to go there. Uh, thanks for watching, Carlsbad, and Anchors, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Race, and of course, we send our thoughts to those affected by these recent eruptions. On another note, Carlsbad, buy your tie-dye pink shirts before the next football game before they sell out. They're available in the student store while supplies last. It's been a great day, Carlsbad. Make it a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.